So I'm here with Greg, and uh, Greg, how old are you? Me, I'm 25. 25 years old, and you are a smoker. Yeah, I now, say so. I personally do not know a lot of people that smoke, so to me it's always a little intriguing to, to hear the story, to find out the how, where, when, why. Um, so how old were you when you first started smoking? Um, I had my first cigarette when I was 10. And how Probably does... really started smoking when I was 12. Now who gives who gives a 10 year old a cigarette? Uh, no one, I stole it from my dad. So you, your dad smoked though? Yeah, my dad, so that was my the dad influence. still smokes. But that was where you said, uh, my dad smokes, I wanna smoke? Well that and I was hanging out with a lot of older kids. And they um, smoked? Yeah, like I was hanging out with a bunch of like freshmen and, and eighth graders and whatever. I, I guess when I was 10, I was like fourth grade. Um, and I don't know, I had a lot of friends in sports. I always played in the older league, mm. so. So you've been a smoker for some 15 years? That's, that's yeah, about you could 15 say that? Years. Yeah. Um, now, how much do you spend on average, let's say a month on cigarettes? Well, and buy about, I buy a pack probably every two days. And how much is a pack? Seven fifty. That's seven fifty. All right. Yeah. I, I honestly have I have no clue. I'm completely... uh, when I started smoking, they were five. So they've only got up to two dollars and fifty cents though. Yeah, but when that's my dad not started terrible. Smoking, they were thirty five cents. Well, that's yeah. He got hooked. Yeah. Um, it's expensive. I don't know. Seven fifty. Buy a pack every two days, or depends on if I'm drinking that night. I'll probably buy a pack that night too. Um, now, do you find it? difficult now that a lot of these places have cut out smoking like you can't smoke in a bar anymore you can't I just smoke. walk outside so it doesn't really although my nose. were all those laws in effect already when you were 21 I don't when remember. I was 21 yeah so it, it already really never yeah, affected you then the, all, like even the diner was the last to hold out um, I can remember going in the diner that had the smoking section yeah the diner was the last to hold out and the diner probably did it when I was nine okay now, yeah, so like 2000. How do you handle now? Because I, I mean, I've known you three years now or so. Five. Um, five years. All right, sorry. <laughs> Time goes fast. Um, I've known you long enough. That's the point. Yeah. Now, I, if I did not know you, I would not know you are a smoker. I do not smell smoke on your breath. I do not smell smoke on your clothing. Other people, I get within 10 feet of them, and I could smell just that that heavy smoke odor. A lot of that is um, the amount of times you smoke a day. Uh, when I was smoking like in college for the one year I went, um, I was smoking like, I don't know, like two or three packs a day. And then I could really, I even smelled it on myself. Like I don't but smell it on But you were smoking indoors and stuff at that point, which you're right. not doing now. Right, which I don't do at all now. So that may have something to do with it too, with the smoke more or less kind of like dissipating well, and, and not uh, hanging on you. So I, I Recently, about a year ago, stopped smoking in my truck. That's all. Yeah, that's really good. Because uh, you're in your truck a lot. Exactly. Like, I'm constantly on the move. Yeah, you, you do a lot of driving. Yeah, so um, that helps too because I'm not in a, in a confined space. Right, so it's. And I. It, like yeah, right I mean, now, I can't. I cannot. We're five feet away from each other, maybe. I, I don't smell. I don't smell cigarette smoke at all. So. Yeah, now, I mean, that, that's, that's part of it. And normally, if I'm having a cigarette, I'm walking around. I'm okay. normally not, I'm almost never just sitting smoking a cigarette. Now, I'm how about doing um, work on whatever, my bike, my truck. Yeah, so you're running. How about like your teeth and stuff? What do you do? You use teeth whitening polish? Do you rinse? No. Do you do nothing? Because your, your teeth are relatively clean. Yeah. You know, I would no, say that they're brush average. Them, brush them like any other person, I and guess. And you don't, haven't found the cigarette smoke to affect that at all? No. Um... People say it affects your fingernails, but yes. I haven't even gotten yellowing on my fingernails yet. That's, you know, now, what type of cigarettes do you smoke? Menthol. Menthol. Um, I smoke uh, these things called Marlboro Blacks. Um, they're uh, Marlboro's newest, so they're cheaper. They're okay. about 50 cents cheaper. So they're trying to push those. Yeah. And I've been smoking them for, I don't know, like three years now. So. Now, how do you find... Um... How do you find with dating? How do you find smoking? Uh, do you find that people, oh, you're, you're a smoker, I don't want to deal with it? At the beginning, they don't care. Okay. 
and then once you start actually being in a relationship, they're like, all right, I want you to stop because I want to have a long life with you. And I'm like, so it's that typical, I'm going to get in a relationship with him and I'm going to change him. Yeah. All right. Pretty much. And that's on them. Um, I mean, I don't really mind. I, I don't smoke enough that like, well, I guess I do smoke enough, but I don't smoke around people. Normally. Right. I normally do it off on my own. So you're more respectful about it. Yeah. Well, I try to be. Okay. Um, now, do you date any girls that smoke? Uh, I have not. I've hooked up with a few girls that smoke, but... But it's mostly on your end that, that, that yeah. they're the smoking. Okay. Yeah, and I don't find it disgusting. I just haven't met a girl that I've actually dated that smoked. It just, yeah, like I said, I, um, you know, I, I know very few people that smoke. So that's why I was or kind of interested in doing this. Or if they did smoke, they smoked when they were, when they were drinking. Right, yeah, I mean, it. like, right now. That type of thing. Now, um, would you consider like stopping would you give up smoking is that something appealing to you is that something you think about um well i would i would stop smoking um i don't know i like it too much you do like it i do so uh, there's no real you know. i for the health factors absolutely um but it hasn't slowed me down in the slightest which is probably like the worst part right and it's not something you're saying oh next year i'm gonna give up smoking it's right not if even felt, not even a thought if i felt like i was slowing down yes I'd probably quit. Okay. Um, but I, I don't even know if I smoke enough for it to really affect. I mean, I, it probably is, but. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, you're. I mean, my dad sitting, smokes a pack a day. He's sixty. And he's in he's in good shape. Still plays sports. He's another guy. I wouldn't know that he smoked. Yep. Yep. And your dad. I've known your dad. Oof, uh, the better part of thirty years. Yeah. You know, so that's yeah. Anything else, uh, like advice or comments or anything you give out there for people who are smoking or thinking about smoking? Or well, you shouldn't start. You think just don't do it. I would never tell. I would never tell someone that was already smoking that they needed to quit. Right. But I would absolutely tell. But if a younger younger kids, right? If a younger person said to you, "Hey, I want a pack of cigarettes. Can you help me out?" No, absolutely. Or, Here's not. ten bucks. Absolutely you, not. You, you, you find your way the way I found my way if you really want. But would that you bad. tell them like, "Hey, listen, don't start it." Yeah. So message from Greg is don't start smoking. Don't start smoking. I mean, yeah, right. absolutely. But you're not preaching to anybody that does smoke. No. That's fair enough. All right. Um, I completely appreciate your time. And uh, everybody else, thanks for watching. And I will catch you later. If you enjoyed the video, please take the time to like and subscribe.